<laughs> I thought you were first in this. Out of the blue, suddenly I entered the world of landscape restoration, ecosystem restoration. And I was not aware that we could restore Mother Earth. I come from a generation that was only focusing on nature conservation. If you would see what the result is of the serious work in the field, it's unimaginable with a simple tool like this, you know. People still today think that if the solution is not complicated enough, it cannot be, it cannot be a solution. But this is a wonderful solution and it will save so many lives, but then again, it will regreen so many big areas in Africa and all around the world, well, because it's happening all over. We need to join the digging movement. The only thing is there is still a sort of ignorance. And I would say one of the biggest pandemics that we're facing is spiritual poverty. Like we really, really don't understand what we are as, as a human. We lost a connection with nature, which is basically a full connection to ourselves. So how I see land stewardship is the love for yourself to be alive and a love for future generations to be alive. For me, the future in really stewarding this earth is understanding that there is no division between yourself and the earth. So we're in the future now, it's, it's 2030, and we don't talk about the earth and humankind, like we, we are feeling. When a caterpillar is in the cocoon, and it is, it's about to transform into a butterfly, the cells of the caterpillar, they die. And within that process, there is another signal that is sent to that cocoon. And within the caterpillar, there are imaginal cells. And these imaginal cells get activated and they hold the blueprint of the butterfly. What if we live in a society that is dying, but each of us holds a blueprint within ourselves to come up and to rise up like a phoenix? I knew already it was going to be a long-term process. Actually, it will be a several generation process because we have been so destructive over the last 100 years. You cannot restore everything in you know, 20 years. It takes time. But the good news is we can restore Mother Earth. So we started to heal ourselves. We started to heal ourselves, started to heal our connection to what's around us. And we became agents in our full strength to steward ourselves and the earth.